it is your baby girl no no richie in the building if it's your first time coming across my video the name of this channel is no no richie welcome on board welcome to this amazing beautiful space welcome to this amazing beautiful space of mine welcome 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 please if your first time crossing coming across my video subscribe there's a red button below click on it subscribe smash it do whatever you want to do with it welcome on board it is a new year happy new year guys so in today's video we are going to talk about what we don't know about marriage what we don't know about marriage so yeah it is 2023 we are bringing back amazing content amazing things are going to happen in this platform wow i wake up to amazing 3000 plus on this my channel wow. welcome to everybody clicking that right below subscribing to my channel i love you all mm -hmm. thank you thank you thank you so let's get to 4000 watch hour i know we're going to do it i know i know we're going to do it so keep on liking my video sharing watch to the end of this video just to get him monetized on this platform welcome on board so without further ado let's dive into today's topic stay tuned because we're going to dish out amazing things we do not know so about marriage. we are talking about what we do not know about marriage please pardon me i'm not a relationship expert neither am i a marriage counselor i'm just talking based on experience i've been married for four years going to five years plus so i want to talk about what we do not know about marriage there's a people who misunderstand the word marriage there's a people who don't understand that marriage comes with commitment that marriage comes with acceptance that marriage com comes with honesty that marriage comes with individual compatibility and understanding so marriage is an agreement on the go marriage is about agreement disagreement understanding from both parties marriage is a secret to happy married life is what understanding some people often take this word marriage for granted you think you know it all you get into it knowing thinking that you know about marriage without having the understanding of getting into this marriage with understanding of learning and unlearning people just get into marriage because they feel they are at the right age where they needed to have a partner to bear forth children. And that is people's ideology and mentality about marriage. That's why you see a whole high range of divorces happening now. But when you understand the concept, the ideology, and understand that marriage is all about you just don't learn marriage you, you just don't learn everything in marriage you just this you have this mentality and an idea that in marriage you don't know it all you enter the marriage with the understanding that this marriage as time goes on you understand you know better and you understand your partner people who enter this uh, marriage without having an understanding <laughs> Understanding marriage is one of the first important tasks for you to live a happy married life. There are some people who just enter marriage with the concept of, yeah, after the marriage, what next? Ah, after the wedding, what next? We are married. No, that is not how, uh, how, 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 that is not how it's supposed to work. After marriage, what next? After marriage, what next? And that what next that comes to your mind is, how do I build my home? How do I make my home comfortable for myself, comfortable for my partner, comfortable for my children? Those are people who just enter marriage with the concept of, yeah, marriage is more about the love and the sex. It's a lie. Marriage goes beyond love, goes beyond sex. It goes beyond all those ideology that you have in your head. To me, I understand marriage as a screen that you don't always, you can never graduate from. You know, normally in, in normally in our education life, you start school. There are people in Nigeria education system. You start school. There's, there's some people who spend four years in school. You start from year one to four years. You graduate, but marriage does not have 
an average graduating limit is a lie a marriage marriages as the day comes you take it as it comes with an, an idea and a an, an knowledge that my marriage has to work there are high rates of divorces happening and the celebrities in nigeria has made it look like they we don't have a good marriage there are some people who enter marriage with that no intentionality in them marriage is about being intentional for each other for both yourself for both your partner marriage is hard work but people don't know that marriage requires intentional time attention from both parties you will have time and you will make it seem easy and effortless other times require more energy i know times require more energy so for marriage marriage require hard work require a whole lot of times require energy being intentional you make a time for yourself you make a time for your partner in marriage there has to be a hard work hard work means putting in all your energy they didn't say you should kill yourself putting your energy means putting more effort to make your mind point i want to make is that marriage require rearranging your priorities like eh, to some people who are just self-centered sorry to say that there's some people who just enter marriage with the concept and mind of being self-centered being self-centered person their priority is always is all about me it's all about me they are individuals who make it like it's all about them marriage should not be paratalyzed to be all about yourself marriage requires rearranging your priorities priorities in is in 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 the sense of like if you have a busy life you are juggling from one aspect of work to another you want to juggle your work your family your children you prioritize it you make time for your spouse you make time for your spouse it's supposed to be a community of people working together as one to make it work marriage should be a community of service a self-care after you get you get married you have to arrange some of those your priorities to me when i got married i arrange my priorities i don't make it to be all about myself any longer i make it to be all of all about we because we are two we are, i'm no longer one i'm two i make it to be, to be all about myself my husband i make it i consider another person before i take any step i want to take marriage should you should prioritize it friends may be a little bit lower on your list but you know when you have a friend you have a lower thing on your list you have a lower a lower mentality of meeting their own priority but in marriage is beyond having friends is beyond having um is beyond having a friend you should prioritize it consider it your partner should be your utmost priority I didn't say there's some people who will say why will why will my partner be on my husband for already for what reason is, is he or is is she did she make herself my own utmost priority there's some people for me before i do things <laughs> i rearrange my own priorities like i consider my partner a whole lot and likewise him he consider me a whole lot in our marriage i didn't say your marriage should be like my zone no a whole lot of things work for people in different ways these are things that work for me in a different way don't know about marriage is that marriage has its low time high time smooth time lovey lovey time tough time it doesn't mean that your marriage is not working no it doesn't mean that your marriage is different no it doesn't mean that your marriage is difficult no in a nature there are sometimes season you have rainy season you have dry season natures and season changes this is how marriage is sometimes it can be tough there are sometimes in my marriage it can be this tough that i begin to wonder why is this thing tough what is happening where am i getting it wrong it doesn't mean that that marriage is not going to work in the in those period of you have those high and low moments those tough times those up and down tough times all those times smoothie lovey tough just wait in your mind that 
the it will come and pass depending on how you handle them it will come and pass you don't make it look over stress it make it look so difficult you just have to have a balance a grand to understand each other enter marriage with an expectation unspoken expectation no don't do that you enter marriage with you talk about it talk about your sex talk about how your money is going to be made talk about how you are going to handle the finances aspect of life talk about how you are going to spend your time talk about the children and the amount of children you want to have have an agreement so that you don't enter with an expectation yes i'm entering here i want to have one i just want to have one child i just want to have two children without you not speaking about it with your partner I don't like this position about sex. I don't like this position about sex. Talk about it with your partner. Now, don't be that person who has too much expectation and you expect the next person to understand you better. No, that's being self-centered. Marriage should be an impact that would help you grow for better, for worse. It should be an impact that will help you grow for better, for worse. Marriage is to be imparted by family. Time, to me, after I got married, I had that mentality that every day of my life, that every day I'm cho I choose to stay married, every day I choose to stay in this marriage, every day I choose to show my sponsor love, every day, every day I choose to make my marriage work. I choose to make it work. Not because I'm being forced to make it work, but because because of a whole lot of things happening, I really do not want my marriage not to work. I really do not want it not to work. So in that aspect, I always put in, if I was supposed to put in 10% effort, I always put in 20% effort, effort because I wanted my marriage to work. Because I'm working towards making it work. It is my choice. It is my own ideology. It is what I choose to do. It is my own aim. It is my own priority. It is my own priority and everything. I choose to make it work. Not because I'm being forced to make it work. I choose and I decided I was going to make my marriage work. So I put in more effort. I put in more hard work. Uh, more hard work. I put in more things I'm not supposed to put in just to make it work. So, marriage is all about choice. What you don't know about marriage is that marriage is about choice. It's about understanding. It's about commitment. It's about sacrifice. It's about prioritizing it. It's about making it work. Not because you think ah, I'm, doing it, I'm doing it for the good of my partner. You're doing it for the good of yourself and your own sanity. So, marriage is a choice. Marriage is about understanding. If you have that kind of mentality, why would there be high rate of divorce? There shouldn't be. There shouldn't be high rate of divorce being recorded. Because you have an understanding that your marriage has to work. You are putting in more effort. You are putting in more handwork for that marriage to work. More than anything, marriage is about choosing the one you know you love. Again and again, it's choosing someone you know you can love, you can stay with, you can tolerate, you can understand. And even in the next 10 years to come, you choose to stay with that person in that marriage. Just because you love the person. Just because you are choosing the person over and over and over again because you cherish each other because you understand each other so if you have all this mentality and if you have all this understanding and if you have this understanding about why wouldn't your marriage work why wouldn't your marriage work your marriage has to work yeah like subscribe please let us get to 4,000 watch hour keep on watching my video more of this kind of video, sit and video, will come as the day goes. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking on the red button. I love you all.